Hello everyone, and welcome to Until Dawn. I have never played this before. I've only seen, like, gameplay of it, full gameplay of it, and, like, I sat down and watched someone else play it. But I myself have never played this, and I thought, with the quarry out, and basically a spiritual successor to this game, It'd be nice to play through this. Uh, I semi know what I'm doing, but what I like, it seems like no matter what I pick, it's going to be different to someone else. So I'm going to try and make all the characters survive. I really hope I do. My goal is to get at least three of them out of there. I feel like I'm going to suck at everything, so without further ado, let's get into this. The way they use the butterfly effect in this game is just absolutely mind-blowing. That was really cool about this game, it used the butterfly effects really, really, really well. You know... Oh, sorry. Disregard that. I don't know what was going on. Oh shit, it's me. I'm moving, that's my bad. <laughs> hey, bitch, wake up. Come on, man, I just saw something crazy outside, bro. You. Hey, bitch. Wake up, man. Objects that glint can be inspected. Okay. Uh, to pick up the bottle. Jeremiah Crag. Sounds cool. Jeez. Josh, <laughs> once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. Okay. So anything that glints is feck. Wait, did I get that? 
Yeah, I did. Cool. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike, kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I feel like Mike's being a bit of a dick. Got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this is all gonna happen. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! <sighs> what? How am I choosing? Ah, shit. Hey guys. Would have been nice to know to know what I was choosing. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So Oh Hannah! Mom? You know, I kinda think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh great. <laughs> Quick time events. We're going safe. We're gonna follow these footprints. Oh god. This is really, really, really cool. Whoa. All right. Also, I gotta be on. Jesus Christ. It's like I'm directing a horror movie. Hello? 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 It's me. Whoa! Almost missed this! What was that? Oh, that's right! Death Totems! That's right, so every time you find a token, a totem, it foretells what could happen. I think it's, they're, they're literally hidden absolutely everywhere, so guidance, loss, danger, fortune. Then you got the butterfly effect. Some character info. Shh. 
shit ton of clues. Alright, let's keep going. So that just shows that someone's gonna die. I hear whispers in my right ear. Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Bruh, I can... I can hear shit in my ear and I hate it. Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah? Oh, what? Ah, uh, I want help! No! <laughs> if one of us are dying, both of us are dying. <laughs> Fuck. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Yes. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Uh. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Makes me happy. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? It's peaceful, I guess. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Yeah, that'd be cool. What if I told you 
this cottage was haunted. Meh. Uh, a level headed response. Meh. <laughs> but everyone is biting on something. I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. Sorry, we're out of time. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Thank you, Dr. Hill. You made me feel better. God, that guy was creepy as fuck. Please don't be like a copyrighted thing. The Far Cry thing, um... I didn't realize that the Stranger Things theme was like uber copyrighted. So I've had to mute that little bit every time it pops up. Which is stupid and bullshit and I hate it. Because how am I supposed to know? I'm very hyped for this. Uh, Rami Malik definitely is what sells it mostly to me. He play he's a fantastic actor. Tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but... The girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Hello, Rami. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> His enthusiasm is through the roof.
I gotta say, everything holds up really well. I mean, this game's only from 2015, so... It aging badly would be, uh... Fucking weird. Ten hours until dawn. Ah. Uh. God damn, already? <laughs> Man, like 20 minutes in. Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, adventurous. And I'm gonna aim to try and keep it like uh, that. Someone there? Pass the cable cuts. It's 902. What do I need to move the camera for? I feel like this could have made this into a movie, and it probably would have worked just as well. Oh, what? <sighs> oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> Let's see. I suppose we can. This tree's in the way. Let's try this. Uh, safe. I am going to get all these quick time events. Well, I'm really going to try anyway. Kill. I'm going to try and keep an eye out for totems and all that sort of stuff too. Oh, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. I am fading this squirrel. <laughs> yes. Head to the cable car station. Okay, cool. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. Totems, I want to know if I'm going to die or not. Hello, crows. Basically all the totem stuff. Yeah. Cool. So what do we got? There's a good colour? Yellow. Guidance. Ah, okay, so the little tip it could mean vision of guidance for a future choice, so I feel like that's going to come a bit later. So we may or may not I love choice based games. <coughs> oh, <well. coughs> 
I'm still dying. Now I'm gonna close the bag. I don't. Ooh. Interesting. Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley, methodical, protective, and humorous. Doesn't sound. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. Ooh. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Yeah, bro, you're gonna blow your mind, bro. You're not gonna believe what you just saw, bro. Alright, so the butterfly effect thing. Uh, let's go to find that. So yeah, like, small things like this. So like, I didn't snoop, which means that Chris was happy to see me, which means that our relationship with Chris goes up a smidge. I think the better the relationship is, means the more likely you are to trust. And that you're probably going to have a higher chance of surviving? I Look, don't quote me on it. I'm not going to... No, but like, yeah, there's small, like, there's small things like that. Or there's huge things like... I could knock a switch one way, which could lead to the mur like the death of a character. I feel like such a crazy thing. Ta-da! Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. <laughs> Wanna try? Uh, and Grizzly Adams had a beard. Grizzly Adams did have right. a beard. Here goes. Watch me be the greatest shot of all time. I'm going to blow all these bags away. Look at me go. Oh yeah, bang baby! Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. <laughs> so I'm bad. I'm bad. I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Hey, that was far away, that bottle. Don't you dick me out, dick me over about it. <gasps> that squirrel friend. I'm not gonna be a dick. <laughs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. So we got that other butterfly effect. I think that was because we didn't... We Yeah, we chose not to shoot the squirrels, so something's going to happen to help us out, I think? Or well, something good's going to... I, I uh, Look, I don't know how the whole thing works... It just works really, really, really well. Ooh, Victor Milgram. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. So the mystery man, so... 32 separate... Cl Clock flu soul mysteries of Until Dawn. To increase chances of survival. I really want to play the quarry. I have I have not seen any gameplay of it. I'm not watching any I've watched one trailer for it. All I know is David Arquette's in it. He said that? What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Hell yeah, it's creepy. Just like me, bruh. I'm a badass.
I am. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. I wanna go in here. Can I go in here? I can go in here. What a crazy place to set up. <coughs> no matter how rich you are. You're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. <laughs> Huh. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's like it just feels like medicine. You're gonna publish it. You're gonna publish it. Sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Nothing interesting really up here. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. I love cable cars. Let's fucking smash, mate. You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I'm kind of a worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone right now or, or talking to some other person entirely. It's that butterfly effect. Butterfly effect. You stole my line, Chris. You stole my line. Butterfly effect. <laughs> it is an interesting concept, the whole thing, and it's cra- as I- as I- as I keep saying, it's a crazy concept of- well, Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, and irreverent. No idea what that last one means. Oh boy! Hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I, could I have just left my hand on that? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, so sick, Chris. <laughs> Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And... These butterfly effects, I'm interested. So Sam respects Chris's privacy. Chris was happy to see Sam, uh, which means Chris continues to continue to trust Sam. 
Oh, that's crazy. There's more to... Fuck, this is... This goes deep. What kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. That is uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a minute. Okay. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> whoever. Uh huh. Sam. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. It looks like a green screen. They have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends. <coughs> Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, and active. And where's the bellboy when you need one? So plan is Matt. I like Matt. I don't know why. <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Oh, I can do little... Party. I can do little spins. Oh, not really. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus, shit. <laughs> Mike. Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, and also persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I'm Michael! Like just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Oh, sorry, what? I wasn't paying attention. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Look at me oh, go! Totally, we're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. Alright. See you, man. See ya. Alright. See ya! Hey. See ya! Okay, so I assume that status update means that our relationships... Oh, which... We're charitable... Uh, oh. Our relationship with Emily went down. But it... But it strengthened with Mike. Which I think in the long run is good. <coughs> I'm yet to know. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Wait, was I persistent? I'm persisting. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. I don't like Emily. She's 
he's... Ooh, ooh, that's gone down, hasn't it? I'm not romantic and... Yeah, that's hurt me. Ooh. Who have we got? Ashley has a crush on Chris, academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Check the expiration date on their big breakup. Just wait. Oh! It's fucking hell! Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, what? I did mean to oh scare my god. You, scare you, but not like for real. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh my god. Hey, wow. I hate Matt now. Oh, sorry, Ash. I really hate it's Matt. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Holy oh, shit. Yep, yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just... What? For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Oh, do I... Fuck it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh shit. Oh, what is that done? Oh no, this could hurt. Emily? What the hell? Man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Oh, Matt. God damn, I'm already making all the wrong decisions, I think. Just car. I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! Great. <laughs> <Great. laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chick? You. Oh! Ah. Oh, I... Hey! Oh, snap! Oh! Jess has got the moves! <laughs> Hello! Come on! <laughs> hey, Mike! <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I know all your tricks. Meh. Whoa! Gotcha, bitch! Oh, <laughs> no more! Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. <laughs> Let's be romantic. Uh, wow, save some for later, buddy. 
endless reserves. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah, it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here. But smashing the snow, mate. Ever provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out. Quote unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Ooh, we have a status update. Oh, I'm not funny, but my relationship with Mike's going up, which is good. All right, so. I'm surprised, um, I'm surprised that wasn't a butterfly effect that one, actually. Not hitting the bird. <coughs> I feel like if I did hit it, it probably would have been. Hi. And how are we feeling? Like shit. It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now, oh, great. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Is this a Rorschach test? No, it's not. Oh, oh God. Men worry me. Uh, no, women worry me. No, I gotta be honest, men worry me. Crowd scare me. I'd rather be on a plane than deal with a crowd. I fear drowning more than heights. Heights I can live with. Uh, oh, they both kind of scare me a lot. I'm more scared of snakes, though. Knives. That ah, cockroaches. Nah. Fuck those things. Scarecrows. Batman begins. Man, scarecrows all that scarier. Can't handle gore. In game. Oh. Did I start you? So sorry. Screw you. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more unlikely you will find this. I don't need a theremin. Cockroaches. Needles. I'd rather look at a pile of guts than get stabbed by a needle. Ah, scarecrow still. Zombies are fine. Predictable. Needles. Dogs are cool. Needles. God, what is this? This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Cockroaches, scarecrows, and needles. Yes. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but okay. we'll talk again very soon.
Okay. Love you, baby. Oh wait, men scam me. Get away from me. <laughs> you scary son of a bitch. <laughs> Bro's got that big like leather chair. Alright. I reckon we might leave it there. This is insane. Everything that's going on, like, I don't ex- I just never- Watching gameplay, you don't understand the pressure of what the player is actually going through, but with this, like, this is- This is making me think, like, I know every li every little thing that I do can make a difference. But so that's Beth's thing. Ah. So that's the bird landing on the yeah. Okay, makes sense. Guidance. And we have a thing on the mystery man. And so far, that's it. You know, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, <coughs> I really can't wait to play more. Um, oh, that's creepy how I can move. I don't like this Dr. Hill fellow. The guy I'm currently moving my... Making move his I uh, Yeah, I really can't wait to keep doing this more. Probably gonna do and record some more after this because I just want to keep playing it. Oh shit, it's 11:52. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, eventually I'll get the quarry, and after I finish this, I'll play through that. This isn't a super long game. It's long enough, but it's not like over the top long. But um, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I hope you all did enjoy this. I'm, I for sure am enjoying this. It's good fun. It's always good to play a, a choose your own adventure sort of thing. I like this sort of game because it's always unique to the player. But yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe for more. And uh, comment down below anything I probably missed. I probably missed a bunch of shit. Uh, and yeah. Man, the butterfly effect is just so cool. But um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next part. I don't know when. Expect it at some point. Alright, till then.